the morning. It is ten past ten. I need to off to uni in twenty minutes. There's still no sign of my acetate yet, but I'm keeping my fingers crossed. So maybe I'll arrive while I'm out. Fingers crossed it'll arrive at some point today. It's one o'clock in the afternoon. I went and had my tutorial. All is good. Acetate should be arriving before 8 p.m. tonight, which means I'm gonna have to go in at 9 a.m. tomorrow morning to print. But at least it says it's actually coming, which is uh, nice, I suppose. And it's absolutely fucking freezing outside. I am so cold. But not got much left to fit. Look at my hands, like that's not a normal colour and they're swollen. But I'm fucking starving, I've not eaten all day. I'm gonna find some food. I'm gonna try and defrost myself because I'm so cold. Guess who napped? <laughs> it's only half three. I'm not feeling very good though. I think this stress is getting to me. Making me a little bit ill. Either that or when I was at uni earlier when I was outside. I got so cold, I couldn't warm back up again. So I've had my dressing gown on since I came back, I turned the heating up and nothing's really worked to get me warm but then I fell asleep so it's really for lying down in a blanket in the middle of the day but there's still no news on my acetate delivery. I keep refreshing the like delivery page but here it says Arriving by 8pm. Like right there, arriving by 8pm. And then I refresh it. Did I refresh already? Do it again. Arriving by 8pm. So it's not been delivered yet. Otherwise it would say it was delivered on this day. And it's not being delivered. And then we got an email reminder today saying, remember that your draft dissertation needs to be in on the 4th of January. It is the like last opportunity you will get for it to be looked at. And it's just like, really? Really? This close together. So we don't get to enjoy Christmas, really. Well, we do, but for like, three days. There's still little bits of snow around but not a lot and I am really trying to keep positive that everything's gonna kind of turn out okay even if it's all last minute I don't mind as long as it happens. But, uh, like I know I napped but I would have stayed, like, I would have woken up if the doorbell had gone. If I was fully asleep, I wouldn't, but I'd only napped for like 40 minutes maybe. So I remember half falling asleep and being like, I need to turn an alarm on, I can't sleep for very long. It's making me tired. Ooh. I've just had enough now. I don't want to go home. But I can't. But it's less than a week now anyway. Because in exactly a week from today, it will be my birthday, which means I'll definitely be home. It's going home on Saturday. <sighs> so technically it's still this week. It's this week that I'm going home. So today's Monday, then I've got Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And then I'm um, driving home for Christmas on the Saturday. I'm just tired. I really just want to go back to sleep, but I don't want to be spending the <gasps> Oh, I don't want to miss my delivery. Oh, I was literally like just coming out the other end of the biggest mental breakdown I've ever had in my entire life about this acetate, which I know sounds ridiculous. But it was literally the only thing I could think about for almost a week, for the past five days. It's the only thing I've been able to concentrate on. I've not been able to think about anything else. And 
I heard a car door close outside, shoved my curtains open, saw a red van, didn't even think twice, didn't even look to check if it was a real mail van. Never ran downstairs fast in my entire life. Like I've got to run down those stairs fast to get my post, regardless of what it is, because if they ring the doorbell and you're not down within like two seconds, they just leave. But I've never in my life run like that. I could have hugged that person, man. I was just like, oh my god, I've been housebound for five days waiting for this. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful evening. Like, sorry it's so cold out. Hope you're not having a terrible time. And I'm shaking. I'm actually shaking because I didn't think it was going to arrive. And I noticed some that may sound silly, but... I've been having such a terrible time with this semester of uni, I needed this to have worked. It's a big ass giant envelope. I needed it to have worked. This is the test. It's gonna work. Cause can you see that? Probably not. But there's a little fingerprint there from where I just licked my finger. Which means it's gonna work. I'm just actually shaking. I'm actually shaking. I can't believe it. Whoever delivered post <laughs> to my area of Sunderland on Monday the 11th of December, I love you. <laughs> A lot. really cold down here. <laughs> I'm so relieved. I'm so relieved. So, this has made me realise that I am not mentally stable in any way, but I knew that anyway. Um, so I kind of just want to talk about how you can let things which seem very minor to other people literally control your life. I never ever thought that I would be housebound for nearly an entire week because I was waiting for some acetate in the purse. It sounds absolutely ridiculous, it sounds absolutely insane, but it happened and I had a breakdown over it and I cried today. I had a nap because I couldn't stop thinking about it and I wanted to stop thinking about it because I'd had enough of thinking about it constantly for five solid days. But it's here now. And I'm gonna get up bright and fucking early in the morning. I'll be in uni for 9 a.m. I'm probably gonna arrive there at like quarter two to print this. And that's me. I look cute. Me and Sam have basically just come to the realization that Mercury being in retrograde does actually affect people. We are now astrologers. Yes, astrologers. Yeah, like we were going through it all. Why did we start talking about it in the first place? Because I was. Because you were like talking about the breakup bug going around because a YouTuber you watch is. Oh, yeah. When's oh. her birthday? I don't know. Anyone know where, when Helen Anderson's birthday is? Basically, I'm watching Helen Anderson's vlog and she mentioned something about her husband not being around the house. And it reminded me of uh, my friend's situation who are currently no longer in relationships and it's fucking sad and it's really shit and then we were going through how mercury and retrograde affects people with different star signs my two friends who have recently ended relationships both aquarius and it's what did it say for aquarius with mercury and retrograde in aquarius the sign that governs relationships and friendships are put at risk petty squabbles misunderstandings and miscommunications abound know who your friends are Fucking what? And I'm a Sagittarius and it said something about being patient in mine and the whole reason I've been fucking crazy over the past week is because I've been impatient. And it says, for me, with a Leo, avoid buying things. And I've bought a lot of things and haven't worked. No, it really hasn't, has it? Yeah. So I've got to go analyse my investment portfolio, which means check my Halifax banking account. That's fucking crazy. Because Sam had ordered his portfolio box for uni how long ago? It must have been a month ago. It was meant to arrive on the 3rd! 
It was meant to arrive on the 3rd of December. That's when Mercury went into retrograde! <laughs> That's when Mercury went into... What the fuck? Are you okay? <laughs> And then I bought an Iceland and it took fucking two days to arrive. An Iceland food shop, not actual Iceland. Yeah. Oh my god. <sighs> like, I'm actually not alright. I've always been like... And it says for Aries, which is Aaron's sign, he'll be frustrated and frazzled and that's what he's been because Christmas is coming up. Because Mercury's in retrograde. Fuck. <sighs> I've always been like quite into my star sign. It's usually it's usually quite like on the money. I won't go and check it all the time. Mm. But if I see one, like if my mum's got a magazine or something, I'll have a read. Mm. But only if it's like a past one. I won't read my future mm. ones. Only if it's a past one, I'd be like, oh, that's accurate. This one works because it's been going on for like the past for a while, and I've been. Eight how days. long have I been impatient for? Like at least a week. It's close enough. Mercury's fucking us all off. Do you know, I was like, uh, astrology. I know, that's uh, right. But, holy fucking shit. And it's not even vague stuff either. No, it's so well, it's accurate. it's kind of vague. But no, but it's so easily it's applicable. applicable. The fuck are we going to do? When does it stop? 23rd. Great. So... I'm well, still I mean, going to be crazy on my birthday. Well, I mean, mm, you're just going to be birthday. impatient to have a birthday next. No, I'm just going to be impatient to get my fucking grade back because my acetate has finally fucking arrived. I, um, oh, how am I going to Christmas shop, though? Because it's like, I don't buy anything. You're going to do January Christmas? Yeah, no, but I've got a Christmas shop for my family. Because I'm having when Christmas with them. You can do it when Mercury is out of retrograde. <laughs> that leaves me Christmas Eve. Yeah, shops are open on Christmas Eve. And hectic. So? And it's going to be full of old people because it's Annick. Just go to Argos. <laughs> do you have an Argos in Annick? Yeah, actually. There you go, just do it all in Argos. That's a good point, I will. Yay! I have saved the day. <laughs> I need to eat my chip wrap now. I made another chip wrap because, you know, it's it's that time of year and Mercury is in retrograde, so absolutely fuck it. Me and Sam have spent the past, what do you reckon, two hours? Two hours. The past two hours watching Vine compilations. Doing the bare minimum of work. <laughs> to be fair, I finished my artist statement and my self evaluation, and I only have one page of research left to do. So I'm doing alright. <laughs> it's going to be freezing out like here. Three pages left. And Sam's only got oh. three pages left. Is it raining? Turning the oh, hot shit. round. It's raining. Putting the hood up. Or oh, is it snowing? And I think we've just got shiny stairs. So oh, we're going. It's snowing. Is is it snow? I think so. It might actually be snowing. That's nice. So. It's not cold though, is it? No, of course it isn't. It's not cold enough. Um, and it's a bit too wet. So we're going to the shop in the rain. I want to see at least one Christmas tree. Oh, I've already seen one. It's over there. Nice. Well, it's definitely snowing. And. I just dropped all my stuff down the stairs because I'm smart. <laughs> okay, shut the door on me, bye. <sighs> but it's definitely snowing. So I hope it's cold enough to set. Oh, let me open the door, thank you. How kind. You're going to like go now, aren't you? Yeah. Well, I grabbed it. I'm a gentleman. A gentleman. Oh my god, it's so fucking cold. At least it's nice and warm inside. <sighs> but there is melting snow all over me. <sighs> and it's in my hood. <laughs> all around me are familiar faces. Mm, what to say? <laughs> it is 10 pm. Which means advent calendar and bedtime because I'm getting up at like 7 a.m. tomorrow. Because the first years have basically written a list of people that can use the printer, but that was today when nobody else was there to write their name on the printer list. I was there, but I left, and for some reason, someone took my name off, even though I didn't fucking use the printer. So we're gonna go there for 8 45 in the morning. <laughs> Better have a joke. I need a laugh. A. What illness do you get if you eat the Christmas decorations? 
Let's find out, because I don't know. It's another bauble one again. The answer is tinselitis. That is actually quite funny. And here's my little bauble. Oh, that's upside down. Little bauble. But the end is near. I can almost taste it. But I can taste it really nice. I think I'm going to chuck it. I've got this. It's gonna happen. We're good. And <laughs> I'll see you at like half seven in the morning. Or something fucking ridiculous like that. <laughs>